Hello, and welcome to yet another episode of Shark TV. Hello, uh, shh, let it happen. We'd like to start this broadcast with our very own Milton Green and his cooking segment. What did you have for breakfast this morning? You know, here at Malibu High School, I see a whole lot of this kind of stuff for breakfast. That. Thank you. You know what, I have two words for this kind of stuff. Toss it. Let me suggest this for breakfast. They call it the perfect food, eggs. Let's cook some. All right, we're going to cook eggs maybe two or three different ways. It's going to take all of about four or five minutes to do this at home. So I suggest doing it fast by taking a slice of bread and a cup or a cookie cutter and just cutting uh, a circle out of the bread. The bread like this. And you toss it onto your pan on the fire. You need a little more butter on that to get it um, nice and brown. We're going to do a scrambled egg right in the center of that, um, that hollowed out slice of bread. And you end up with what is called, uh, I think it's called an egg nest, because the egg is kind of nesting right there in the center of the, um, of the bread. So here we go. We're just going to crack an egg right in the middle of this. It's sizzling, as you can hear, perhaps. There we go. Very nice. And you give it about one minute. It's perfect. And then once it's nice and brown on the other side, you've got a complete breakfast. You got some carbohydrates here. You got an egg all in one piece. It takes no time to do that, and that's going to hold you till lunch. Here's another little trick you can do for mom and dad. Maybe on a Saturday morning, if they are okay with it, you can, you can cook for your parents. This will be a first. This, uh, you can use the scrambled eggs in this or fried. I'm going to fry the eggs in this. One uh, quick uh, caution. Whenever you're cooking, do not cook in your pajamas. It's deadly. I take a couple of pieces of bell pepper, a couple of slices, get yourself a nice fat bell pepper, and slice it right down the middle. You get a couple of bell pepper rings and let that sizzle a little bit in the pan. All right, so those are ready for the eggs. Here we go. And crack it right in the center of the bell pepper ring. There you go, look at that. And let that cook. You got a colorful bit of breakfast there. See, that'll sizzle and cook up nice. And when those are nice and fried, flip them over, serve them to your parents, and they'll go down and shop for your first car. Conclusion: Don't do this. Do this. Nice cooking, Milton. And if there's one thing I know, it's food. Now with Coffee House coming around soon, and by soon I mean October 19th, here's our very own Ryan McGowan, Master of Ceremony. Truly talent in its purest form. October 16th, Sam Ohio is hosting a college fair. Got the fun of fairs and college at the same time. I don't know how that works, but if you're still not sure what college is right for you, be sure to visit. Now, Dane Sotorius has a surf update for us. are flat. Thanks for the update, Dane. Seniors, wake up! Your college apps are due. That's right. In a certain number of weeks, you seniors will have to turn and look to determine your future. Log on to Navion to talk with Ms. Chi for more information. Also, if you haven't taken the SAT or ACT, you probably should. The next ACT is October 27th and the next SAT is November 3rd. 
In other news, your ASB has brought back Work It Wednesday. Work is spelled with an E, so you know it's cool. Well, it's that time of year again. The PTA Reflection Contest is coming back to Malibu. So enter and see if you can win big. Remember, it's not the reflection on the outside that counts. It's the reflection on the inside that truly matters. Really? Because I send a picture of my face in the mirror every year, and I always get an honorable mention. That's nice, Vinny. It's not nice. It's sexy. Moving on, homecoming is coming back to Malibu October 26th. More importantly, the lights are coming back also. I have more on the story. Take it away, Mimi. Homecoming with lights for like four years or three or you know what I'm saying. But get excited for Friday, October 26th. Seniors, we have to go out with a bang, leave the school, just showing spirit throughout the hallways and up at the field. Come on now, and guess what? There's gonna be dance right after the game. So you all have to be there, support the Sharks, support ASB with our dance, be there or be square. And guess what? It's gonna be a theme like no other we've ever had. Malibu High Olympics. Come on now. Ryan L, Gabby, Lolo Jones, and all those people. Come on, so show some spirit people spirit. So you can ask ASB and we'll give you information more on the spirit weeks and all the stuff we have. So hope you guys come out and support your sharks. Great reporting, girl. Now we'd like to go to another reporter on that club scene that's been hitting Malibu these days. No. Not too. Not too often do we get all this neatness in one location. That's called nature. How neat is that? That's pretty neat. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is an aspen tree. You can tell it's an aspen tree because the way it is. Point. That's pretty neat. Get down here a little bit, gotta get the nature out and moving. Send a message to these squirrels. I'm here as one of them. Go sneak through the plants. Chirp! Chirp, chirp, chirp! Here we go. Squirrel! Little birds, maybe? Oh, wow. There's a rare, rare chance to see this. The wolves. The wolves were here. They sat here too. That's the wolves. You know, this is a real, real nice plant. I understand this as the, the smell plant. It gives off sense that in times of need could be helpful. If you like nature, then join me this Thursday in Miss Ryan's room for the environmental club. Without a doubt, coming out in the nature is one of the neatest things there is to do. But you also have to be careful. Well, that's our broadcast. Thanks for watching. So I got to turn this thing in. Where are you Oh, we went to we went to Denny's and I got some sweet pancakes. All right, let's get let's get this done. You smell like syrup. We're done. Oh, we're done. Hello and welcome to yet another edition of Shark Television. We're over, we're done. It's over, Harris. It's over! Most of you probably know, Point Pizza is sadly going out of business. So do whatever you can, show your support, buy a shirt, a hat, even a pizza. Let's do what we can to bring it back.